Hey everyone, welcome to the Hornet King channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I have three bald faced hornet nest relocations for you guys to check out. I relocated three bald faced hornet nests here onto my barn, one around the corner here, one right behind me, and then one here on this corner of the barn. So why do I relocate? One, because I study the bald faced hornets. Really cool to study them and learn about their behaviors. Two, they're beneficial to the ecosystem. Three, I just like having them around because they're great for pest control. They kill flies, Japanese beetles, aphids, spotted lanternflies, all the crap that we don't want around here. Even caterpillars that decimate wild cherry trees. I have two on my property and I hate seeing them. So that's why I have them here. I'm going to show you guys the progression of when they started till today. Check it out. I'm the Hornet King and I removed some incredible and insane wasp nests. Okay, the newest edition. Queen is in there. Somewhere. All right, I'm really excited. The queen has returned after being absent for three days. Now I've been doing yellow jacket removals and hornet removals and relocations for a long time now. And this is the longest period that I've had a queen leave and be away and then return. Three days. When I say there's no such thing as absolutes when it comes to wasps, I mean it. There is no such thing as absolutes. Um, there's no always, there's no nevers. So they don't always come back and they don't never come back. They might come back. <laughs> so this is wild. Uh, let, let's go take a look.
trying to relocate this bald-faced hornet colony. And two of the two of the wasps think my hand is the nest. Keep crawling all around it. There it goes. All right, come on now, your turn. Just get up there. Get up there. That's it. All right. Queen's in there. That's the queen's butt there. Comb's intact. Hopefully they continue in this spot. This is kind of precarious how I have this situated, but hopefully it stays up there. Crossing fingers. I'm going to try to let them go. I'm try to get this glue off here. Come on. Just strings out. It's so annoying. There we go. All right. There's the queen. All right. Hopefully they do all right. There's the queen. Just checking out all of her cells. daughter up here just fanning. Mind you, I'm like within inches of this nest and no one has tried swarming me or attacking me or anything. Just getting their bearings for their new, for their new home. I think I'm getting good at this. <laughs> So I'm gonna take you guys around and show you all the different relocated nests. Why isn't Henny in there with you guys? Or Giblet, why isn't Giblet in there? I hear her cackling. Let's go get her. Come on, Giblet. Come on. It's gonna storm soon, Birdie. Yeah. Settle down. Settle. Settle, birdie. <laughs> Alright, so I did. Yeah, she's got to go lay an egg, I bet. Now stop jumping over the fence. Some activity in there. Some of you might remember this was the spot of the, the condominium that I was building with bald face hornet nests. So they're in here with the birdies. No, they won't sting the birds. <laughs> this is nest number two. Technically, this is the first nest that I relocated. So this colony is doing really, really well. I haven't had any problems with them, and I've been doing a lot of time-lapse footage with them, 
So that way I can show you guys the progression of the nest from very, very beginning from when I relocated it until the end of the season, hopefully it lasts. This colony is doing really, really well. So they've built a lot of envelopes since I started. All right, it's getting ready to rain. So I'm gonna show you the next nest, which is right up here on the corner of the barn. What they'll start doing is they'll start tearing off the envelope and then they'll rebuild. So I know I haven't done any uploads in a while and that's actually because I've been really, really busy renovating the outside of my property here. So I put in a brand new patio, retaining walls, flower beds and gardens and things. So it's been taking me quite a bit. So I just took a little bit of time off and uh, let me show you guys what I, what I actually came up with. So this is the patio and these retaining walls are made out of blocks that are 80 pounds a piece which I lifted all by hand. Yeah, my back was killing me by the time I was done this. <laughs> so there's steps that go down here. Rain in the face, squirrel. <laughs> beach, beach, squirrel. <laughs> I'll leave these here for her. Now it's starting to rain. Great. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos, something like see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video and supporting my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Fidgety little thing.